Can you afford to live in one of the country's newest city, one of Colorado's newest city? Well, we're going to head over to Centennial. In this video, we're going to go over cost of living when compared to the national average. So stay tuned. And I'm Orion King, Keller Williams Integrity, down in Cherry Creek, Colorado. And if you enjoyed this education on the Denver Greater Area, please follow me on all social media accounts, the Orion King Real Estate. Oh yeah, and you might be moving into the area. And if you are, email me, text me, call me, so we can get you going on this process. Before we get into the actual cost of living in Centennial, let me give you a little bit of information about it. It is located south of Denver in Arapahoe County. And like I mentioned before, this is one of the newest and largest cities in Colorado. They're roughly around 29.4 square mile. And Centennial is home to over 100, a little bit over 100,000 residents. The median household income it's a little bit over 100,000, so around 102. And this is rated really one of the best, safest communities here in Colorado. All right, so let's get right into it. So like I said, we're gonna look at Centennial, Colorado, compared to the national average. So to compare the two, we're gonna use an index, a cost of living index of 100 for the US national average. So if anything that's above 100 will be considered a higher cost of living compared to the national average, and then anything below 100, would be considered below the national average cost of living. So let's get right into it. First thing we're gonna look at is groceries. Groceries cost index here in Centennial is, is 102. So it is a little bit higher than the national average. So plan to spend a little bit, just a tiny bit more. Now we're gonna head over to health. Health cost index is 94. So it's actually a little bit cheaper. But as we look at one of the most important things, and that is housing. You always got something, you have somewhere to live. And it's a big factor in, in you know, any, in con, any city's economy. So as you look at the index, the cost of living index for housing, you're looking at 200 bit higher than the national average, but there is a positive. If you look at the utilities, you're looking at 96. So the cost of the housing might be higher, but the utilities for your housing is actually lower. You might be needing transportation to get around Centennial, a little bit higher than the national average. So you're looking at a cost index of 114. The overall cost compared to the national average, the cost index is 134. So it is a little bit higher to live here and to survive here in Centennial, Colorado. And as you compare the cost of living in Centennial compared to Colorado, not national average, but Colorado as, as a state, is actually higher as well. So you're looking at a 121 cost index for the state of Colorado as an overall cost of living. And once again, the centennial is 134. I'm gonna give you guys some numbers to kind of chew on, some numbers to kind of really digest. Uh, cost index is give you a good idea, but now I'm gonna be able to give you guys some numbers to really give you a real picture of what the cost of living look like here, look like here in Centennial. I'm using a vehicle for transportation. You're looking at about $2.75 per gallon for gas. You'll roughly need around 50,000 in earnings to, to maintain a well-balanced living style here in Centennial. And for all my renters out there, if you're looking for a one bedroom, you're looking around 1,400 per month for a, for a one bedroom apartment. And then if you need a two bedroom, you're looking around 1,700 per month. There you have it, cost of living here in Centennial, Colorado. Broke it down for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am doing a video right now on the five facts of Centennial. That would be, oh, that's a great one. So you don't wanna miss out on that. And once again, I'm Orion King with Keller Williams Integrity. You guys have a good one.